You should never underestimate mice. I did once. Huh? And that's the vermin over on a bakery. The owner discovered droppings in the cupcakes. Can you imagine? Children's cupcakes. They were a cunning bunch, but I know how to beat them. I took them out with one of these. State-of-the-art pest control apparatus. This is a sound wave articulator. Ultrasonic. Scent detector. Digital. A plasma screen radar system. Here. We have a heat sensor. Infrared with a zoom capacity of a thousand to one. What's that? Sticky paper. Oh. Well, some great stuff. You think Caesar can't hear you because his ears are human, feeble. Caesar hears you as well as any mouse. He can smell you. He can taste you. He can read your mind. <sighs> we love the attic, don't we? What is that? Oh, that's quality control. Over here. What's this? A raisin. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Smuntz. Broken bones, no torn cartilage. Probably have one hell of a bruise, but that's about it. What time is it? Uh, it's a little after four. Are you kidding? Uh, I just missed the most important appointment of my life at noon. I've got to get out of here. You've been in an accident, Mr. Smuntz, and you're not getting out of bed until I'm sure you haven't actually sustained a severe injury. But Doc, you don't understand. If I leave now, I still have a chance. Uh. Hello. Is 
saved your hat. Really? Great. That's nice. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm Hilde, and this is my sister Ingrid. We are both from Belgium. How exotic. Uh, Hilde, is it? Yeah. Would you be a good Samaritan and get my pants over there? Okay. Bless you. I've got to hand it to you Belgians. You can make one hell of a waffle. See? <laughs> uh, could you reach the pocket and get out a, a, a business card? Zepko? Zepko? Yes, Zepko. <laughs> I think something got lost in the translation. Uh, so what brings you to this side of the pond? We are here with the Belgian Hair Council for the International Hair Care Convention. We are hair models. Hair models? Fantastic. I should have guessed. You both have beautiful hair. Thank you. <laughs> say, it's a little chilly in here, isn't it? As long as you're holding my pants, what do you say you help me out with them? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I call foreign aid. <laughs> you gals are something else. Mr. Spots, I told you to lie still. I know, Doc. I know that this, this is an emergency, you see, after my father died. Oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. I... It's all right. I, I never liked him. He, he was nuts. Anyway, after he died, he left us an egg and some spoons and a house that turned out to be the missing LaRue. Unfortunately, the house has, has, has a diabolical mouse in it who, who doesn't like Gouda. And he doesn't want me to fix up the place because he thinks it's his. In other words... I am $1,200, short of $10 million, and I'm going to lose it all if I don't get to a telephone before my brother finds out I'm in the hospital. Ernie, are you okay? I came as soon as I heard. Why are you wearing a pink overcoat? Because April just gave us the $1,200. Whoopsie, I was talking to these two nice girls here, and uh, they were telling me that you should not be wearing that hat. Oh, no, never. The hats. Bad for the follicles. Is that so? Apparently, yes. Nice try, Falco, but I still think we'll take our chances. Are those real? There you are. At last, we're alone. Ooh. What's this? Uh, uh, nothing. Really? It feels like there's a piece of paper in there, like a, like a check. Or... Oh, oh, the check. Yeah, the check. Oh, no, Ernie took that. He said we can make twice as much. I see. Is April coming out soon? She said to wait by the car, but it's been over an hour. Yeah, well, uh, she'll be right out. <laughs> Why don't you uh, go wait by the car? Where is the check? Where did I put the check? You invite me into your house. Very nice. You insult when I offer you ten million dollars. Then, when I offer you more money, you attempt to drown me. What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make me crazy? No, no, I am not crazy. Ellen Churchill, she's thinking of putting her on the market. 
And I'm going to show you my cows. Oh, my goodness. You know what they say, big horn. Big horn. April. <laughs> Some men are here to see you. When I say Dr. Show, what do you say? Uh, uh, feet? That's right, feet. And when I say Hershey, what do you say? Uh, chocolate. That's right, chocolate. And when I say Elma, you say? Uh, fud. That's right, glue. And when I say schmunch, you say strength. Only you don't go out and buy a ball of strength. Now, why is that? Because I own the factory? Because schmunch string is a relic of history. Okay, everybody say cheese. Cheese. Yeah. 